Hello, welcome back to ESP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 21 of this video series. So before proceeding, please watch my previous videos that is from part 1 to part 20 because I have uh, covered all the basic things which is required for creating a dynamic website. Okay, so now in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the layout view in an ESP.NET MVC application. And in my upcoming videos, I will just include some designing features so that you could be able to add look and feel in, feel in your website. Okay, so let's get it started with layout. So layout are used to maintain a consistent look and feel across multiple views within ASP.NET MVC application. So if you are a ASP.NET waveform developer, then you can consider it as master page. Okay, so here in design, uh, the green part shows the layout and the gray part shows the child page or you can say the contained placeholder. Okay, so generally the layout consists the header section, menu section, footer section. Okay, and suppose if you are uh, having the about page, contain, uh, contact page, login page, then all the pages are going to render in the gray section. Okay, so... Here, uh, here is the basic structure of layout. So when you create your uh, first application, then you will see the Visual Studio create the layout page for you. Okay, so it is uh, nothing but an HTML page which consists the head tag and body tag. So in head tag, you will find the meta tag, title tag, then styles dot render, script dot render. Then in body section, you will find a navigation bar then render body where all the child pages is going to render and uh, you will find the footer page uh, sorry footer section and then again script re dot render script dot uh, render and then render section okay so we will discuss this practically so in the previous uh, video i had just created this example for add edit uh, features in ASP.NET MVC application okay so let's have the view of it so here if you notice that I have not included the layout page here so there is no any uh, navigation bar or no any footer so here if you see uh, in every video I had just uh, I was just making this layout as null so let's comment this so if I comment it uh, and not uh, no, uh, not not including any layout here so by default it will include this layout in shared folder okay so this layout is created by the Visual Studio by default okay so this is consisting the title your screen dot uh, style dot render your script dot render okay so a style dot render script dot render and uh, render section and render body I will discuss it in later video session okay so you will see the navigation bar here and if uh, this is uh, this is using the bootstrap classes for creating a, an attractive navigation bar so if you are new to bootstrap then please watch my bootstrap tutorial for creating this navigation bar okay so first first go to index page and I, I'm just commenting this layout and I will just show you the result here you go and you can see your navigation bar and the f uh, and the footer section so this is coming from the layout layout view okay so the layout uh, view is shared among all the application view okay so let's go to the layout and just comment those section because I'm not going to discuss it in this tutorial I will just discuss it uh, in later video session so I also don't need this and this is your navigation bar and here my index page is going to load here so my index page 
will uh, will be rendered here okay so so here if you notice that I have just included uh, some reference here so uh, what uh, what is the main advantage of this layout page okay so the advantage of this is that uh, in, uh, it it just op it, uh, it just optimize my code okay so I will just include it just cut it and just include it in the layout page okay and uh, if you see in my employee detail page I, I had to include this reference also bootstrap so I will just delete it so by default it's going to take it from the layout page okay so once I have just given the reference and I will use it uh, for every pages okay so let's let's comment this also so here it's uh, by default it's uh, now going to uh, use this shared layout okay now let's save and run this okay so here you go and let's click on go second page so it's also uh, uh, using the shared layout okay so same footer section and same uh, uh, navigation bar okay now let's comment this employee details uh, let's put the employee equal to null and let's refresh it so now let's see what's gonna happen here now in this case it's not going to use any layout and again I have just removed the layout mm, uh, the bootstrap reference here so so if I include this mm, layout then by default it will use this uh, this link bootstrap link okay so so if you mm, just reload it so the shared layout uh, has a most important feature so that if you want to add uh, a common common layout uh, which is uh, which is uh, which you want uh, which you don't want to uh, make dynamic or okay if you want to use a static menu on every pages of your application so so you can add it into your layout page and you can take the advantage okay so this is all about the layout page and in the next tutorial we will discuss about the style dot render uh, script dot render and bundle dot config what is the use of what is the main role of bundle dot config okay so I'm done here so if you like my videos then please give us a thumbs up and if you have any problem then do comment and share my videos okay have a great day bye bye